what's up guys, as an Ayer, and this is the OnePlus 3T, which was launched in November 2016, just after 6 months the company's flagship the OnePlus 3 was launched, but with better internals and a small amount of money upgrade too. We're talking about $40 of increase. Well, what was the internals upgrade for that $40 increase? Well, it's kind of huge. We have a better CPU, we have a better battery, we have a slightly different color and a better front-facing camera. All of this upgraded costed only $40 increase, which is much better than a $100 increase for a color. <clears throat> okay, so the main point behind the video is to see whether the 3T is still worth it in 2017 and the time where many companies have released their flagships. We have the Samsung Galaxy S8, we have the LG G6, and we have the company's own OnePlus 5. But the main comparison I want to do is between the 3T and the 5, mainly because the OnePlus 5 is the older brother for the 3T, and also they both are in a very good budget range, which is the sub $500 range. So at first, let's compare the specifications of the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 5, starting with the 3T. We have a Snapdragon 821 CPU, we have 60 gigabytes of RAM, we have 64 or 128 gigs of internal storage, we have both front and rear facing cameras, 16 megapixel both, and we have a 3400 milliampere battery. In the case of OnePlus 5, we have an 835 CPU, we have 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, we have again 64 or 128 gigs of internal storage, and for the camera, this is where things go a bit different, we have a 16 megapixel standard camera and a secondary telephoto 20 megapixel camera in the rear, and in the front we have the same 16 megapixel camera. And the battery, we have 100 milliampere less than the 3T, which is 3300 milliampere battery. So after looking up for the specifications, one may not get that excited about the upgrades the OnePlus 5 got after the 3T. So now let's talk the main things about the 3T. Build. The build quality of 3T was just amazing. The all metal body and the Corning Gorilla Glass 4 and the Sapphire on the camera did a pretty amazing work. I had severe faults on a very hot surface 3 to 4 times and except some scratch on the bottom and some smudges on the body, glass didn't have any kind of problem and the Sapphire crystal held like a champ leaving no mark on the camera glass. So the build is just amazing on the 3T. There is no other huge things about the build quality like the IP rating and wireless charging, but we can't blame that all for just a phone worth just over $400. Now let's talk about performance, and oh my gosh, there is no words to describe it. Performance is just amazing on the 3T even after these many months of use. There has never been any stutters or lags on the phone even when the phone was pretty damn heavily used. All thanks to almost stock Android 7.0 Nougat. The animations are quick, app response time is very less, switching between apps is pretty darn fast, multitasking is very great thanks to that big huge 6GB of RAM. So on the performance side of things, there is absolutely nothing to blame on the 3T. Usually in most phones with a skin on it like you know Samsung at least after 3-4 to four months of use, we do get occasional stutters and some kind of OS stability problem. But with stock Android Nougat operating system, there is no problem with that. And by the time of December or November, the phone is gonna get Android 8.0. Oreo, so that's even better. Now the display of the 3T or any OnePlus phones is the main thing that will back anyone off from buying them, cause it's a 1080p AMOLED display. All other flagships nowadays have a 1414p or even more res displays, <clears throat> Apple. But don't get me wrong guys, this is an awesome 1080p display and we will only know that it is a 1080p display by keeping it near a 1440p display. It is that good. The display is great, great clarity, great contrast, but the viewing angles are kind of bad if you just turn the phone the rainbow starts popping out it gets really bright outdoors there's no problem for visibility direct sunlight and all and all a very good display now let's go to the camera part the camera of the 3d is not mind-blowing or anything right there is no dual camera but it helps pretty good in the competition it has a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture although 1.7 would be better but oh well the picture out of the 3t is very good the pics have very good dynamic range very good contrast and saturation anyways auto hdr is on so when the scene is very good the hdr will be enabled you just don't have to manually press the hdr button but now you guys might know that the model google camera Camera with HDR Plus is out for devices with Snapdragon 820, Snapdragon 821, and Snapdragon 835. The link for this APK I will leave in the description down below. This means that we can choose. This means that we can shoot with Google's awesome HDR Plus processing power and photo shot with that is just amazing. Here are the sample shots with the Google camera and the OnePlus side by side, and you guys be the judge. The Google camera is just amazing. The camera in the OnePlus 3T is awesome. For $400, you're not missing anything. It is just that good camera for the price.
Now the next one is battery life and the battery life on the phone is phenomenal. I get every day 4 plus hours of screen on time on this phone on heavy days. As it has no get on this phone, the standby time on the phone is great too thanks to the dose feature and even if you have very pretty bad day on some day, just don't worry, dash charge will save you. Dash charging is the best feature you will get on OnePlus phone. It, it comes with a 20 watt charger brick and a very tight red USB type C cable and it charges so fast with 30 minutes you get 60% of battery life and in probably in an hour you get 90 to 93% of battery life. The dash charging is one of the best features that you will want to buy from with a OnePlus phone. So it's just amazing if you have a pretty bad day and you get you know an evening about you lose your battery charge stability stuff you just plug your phone in with 30 minutes you get 60% of battery life what else you need so the battery life is amazing and the alternatives for bad battery life is also just amazing so all in all for sub $450 phone it has pretty much everything you want great performance great battery life great builds great camera and then goes on so now the question is is it worse than the OnePlus 5 model but as almost a year has passed for 3T we can find in Amazon for $400 and OnePlus plus five in everywhere we can get for four hundred and seventy nine dollars so do you have to spend the extra seventy nine dollars for a one plus five well I would say no because all the main features you know the features between the one plus five the main feature is the CPU and the camera the camera quality from the 3t and the one plus five is not mind-blowing or anything it's almost pretty much the same you can't find that big difference and the camera on the 3t is just awesome so you don't have to just switch for that extra telephoto zoom so I don't think you have to spend the extra $79 for a one plus five I just don't think what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below is the one plus five rather than the 3t so that's been it thank you for watching and I'll see you around